the good morning from the Universal Orlando Resort and Hi. Universal Studios. Uh, today is Thursday. It's another day of Kevin and Val's spring fling, which by now has caught the world by a storm. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. No? All right. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, today is the Universal Studios day, so we're going to start off early entry at Diagon Alley and then uh, do some other stuff. Other stuff TBD. So stay tuned, won't you? No festivals right now, so no big dots or circles or whatever. Discs, that's the word I'm looking for. Universal Studios Florida, where no movies are made. Sad trombone. Apparently the online information is incorrect and <laughs> Universal Studios Orlando does not have an early entry. It's all IOA, which I guess explains why everybody is going to IOA. So that's where we'll go and then we'll take the train over at 9 o'clock and it's will still be you know, first ones here over yeah. at Diagon Alley, which was the original plan. So, uh, detour time. <laughs> here we go. Well, please enjoy this bonus walking tour of <laughs> the other side of the city walk. There's Hard Rock. There's the Chocoterium, or whatever it's called, Toothsome's Chocolate Saurus. And then uh, there's Islands of Adventures uh, Lighthouse, which I always forget the name of. And there's the rest of the city walk. Well, that Hard there. Rock, did you point out? I hard did. Rock? That was the first thing I did. But did you point out Hard Rock? was the first thing I did. <laughs> this is the early morning rush to Poseidon's Fury, right? Look at that four toed statue from Lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a Potter World. It's, uh, maybe not the Potter World we thought we were coming to this morning, but then we can take the train over. Take the choo choo. <laughs> Actually, in our area, all of Anders is over here. But I'm pretty sure it's right here. That one, that one. Very good. Now, Caroline, you may know every Ollivander wand has a core of a powerful magical substance. We use unicorn has phoenix tail feathers and the heart strings of dragons are the same. Now, Caroline, for you, a wand of oak, 16 and a half inches long, rather bendy, with a unicorn hair core. There you are. Now stand right about there for me. You see this ladder? I want you to bring that ladder to you. Give your wand a wave and to say, Accio Ladder. No. <laughs> Not the right wand for you, Caroline. A wand of holly, I should think. Fifteen inches long. Nice supple with a dragon heart string core. There you are. Mm. You see this bell right up here, Caroline? I want you to ring that for us only once. Concentrate and give it a wave. <laughs> you are doing very well. <laughs> we are getting closer, Caroline. A wand of reed, 15 inches long, with a phoenix tail feather core. Excellent for divination and prophecy. 
prophecy, considering it has a phoenix tail feather core, you are truly destined to make a mark. Now, if I may, my assistant will go over your wand options. Now, remember, Caroline, this wand has chosen you. You will never get such good results with another wizard's wand. Stand right here next to me. You may peruse our entire collection of wands next door. Thank you for selecting Ollivanders. Thank you. Our dervish and, and bangies. Dervish and bangie it up. <laughs> you already looking at it cheap? You already looking at it cheap. Cool. So I know this middle one makes the dragon go around, and then that one I think spins the globe. I think my wand's broken. Let's see. Let's find out, shall we? No? I don't know. You got it. See, it's not broken. Your wand's not broken. You just made it work. <laughs> hey, stop waving that wand around. I think you got it. I got it. Something's moving. Oh, in the chest, there's two pieces that move. Oh, they just start moving. Yeah. I think you just closed, I think you just closed it. You're only good at closing books, you can't open them. Oh, yeah, you're done? Okay. <laughs> What spell are you casting? Oh, there it goes. Oh, you got Frosty going. Ooh. Nice work, pal. Hogsmeade Station. Going to King's Cross. First one's here. Nope, not at all. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we're into London. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It was a shorter. It was shorter than our flight across the country. Though. Yeah, it's magic. Oh. Are you ready? Looks like there's a franchise. There's other Ollivanders over here. Business must be really good. Ah, dragon. You know, we have one of these. We just, I need to turn it around so we can see the other side of it because the Lego set's always facing one way. Oh, yeah. 
This is all, none of this is part of the Lego set. Just the four big buildings out front. Are you gonna make the frog do something? Aguamente. Okay. Okay, so. Aguamente. Got him! <laughs> What's up, froggy? Good job, wizard. Ah, witch, sorry. <laughs> What'd you call me? A moth to a flame. Oh, you got that one already. That one's very sensitive. You're very sensitive. Do you want to try one? No, go for it. Prepare up. You, yeah. You're pretty good at that. Good job. You're an old pro. You got a good one. Oh no! It's, uh, ah. Nothing gold stays. Repero. Repero. There you go. You got it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. In the Lego set, you do get to build part of this too, like the the stairway to the second level, and I think the stairway moves over. So they've got some detail on the inside. We got the Pee Wee's Big Adventure here. Huh? Huh? Ooh, a robot. fortuitous timing once again man the, the secret of this channel if you're talking about theme parks is go there early just get up bite the bullet and go there early makes things look a whole lot easier you can always take a nap later or go to bed early <laughs> this is we've been, this has been theme parks brought to you by the olds <laughs> <laughs> 
That concludes our magical morning with Harry Potter. Yay! <laughs> so a couple hours, couple of both parks, ice cream, cast a lot of spells, rode the Gringotts ride, Diagon Alley, the train. Wow, only two and a half hours. Now let's go see some aliens. Yeah, it's too hot to wait for that thing to come out and peek out the window. What? There you go, there you go. Oh. Yeah. Well, if you're like me, you're ready to take a trip back to the 1964 World's Fair and fight some aliens. I love the... I like the aesthetic of this. I wish they would do more of this kind of thing. Plus, mid-century modern is becoming popular again, so, yeah. so why not do more? I think the Millennium is like it. That's cool. <laughs> there you go, there's some Wexler-esque mornings. Locker time. But you know what, this goes well with, of course, where we've been many times, Cabana Bay. This, this is a very Cabana Bay feel. Especially if you're in the, the food court. Could there be flying saucers? Well, there could be. I'm just asking the question. Man has searched the cosmos, reached deep into the secrets of the universe for evidence of life from other galaxies. Are we alone? Join us now as we take you on a fantastic journey. Universe and You program terminated. Access granted for MIB training. Hurry up, rookies. You haven't got all day. Come on, come on. Find out if you're the best of the best. But don't get your hopes up. This ain't no cake walk. Sure hey, you monkeys know what MIB stands for? More insect bait. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally impaired bug food. <laughs> Twins to pull up a little gem from our past to acquaint you with the finer points of alien spotting. <laughs> sure, they look like ordinary citizens. There are a few things that doofus and do right need to know. Doofus and do right. Each vehicle holds six in three in front, three in back. And make sure his safety car is over the Better than that guy did right there. If you wanted to be MIB, huh? How come you don't have this suit? You were so good, you wouldn't be going back home. <laughs> All day long, I push it. <laughs> I push the buttons. I do. I, I push, push the buttons. buttons. <laughs> I push the buttons. I push the buttons. Hey, Bubba, you're still here. Yeah, you're still here. Yeah, you're still here. Who got the bonus? You got the bonus. <laughs> I push the button. I push the button. I push the button too. Yes, yes, you push the button too. I push the button too. That is at least the QI of Man in Black. Now, Simpson City. Sorry, Springfield. How dare I? Yeah. How dare I, especially when I come dressed like this. I can't even get my hair tied up and say, Sam, I'm going to go again. Are you going to go to Duff Gardens? You want to go to Duff Gardens? Yeah. Well, then why are you asking? All right, off to E.T. Did somebody say weird rides? <laughs> Heading for Universal Florida must-do E.T. And you have to get within like maybe 300 yards and you can start to smell it. Yeah. It has a smell. His friend deeply moved, moved, needs a healing touch. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
got some unauthorized people entering the base. Wait, they got it. They're getting away. Unit three, cut them off. Dave, get to push it. What? The orange light. as much as we enjoyed that ride through at VT. Um, the only thing that'll make it better for the viewer at home, smell a vision uh, was, It's just that I was standing here, somebody who drove up, parked out, you smell that? It smells, like, it smells like Rainforest Cafe. Now, I don't know if I agree with that, but it does have a, see it proves it has a distinctive smell. So anyways, VT is weird. Uh, we're gonna go find something else to do. Bye. Be right here. See, weird. <laughs> Where do you want to go now? Do you want to go to SpongeBob Score Pants? I was gonna, I was gonna cut this out and put it at the beginning oh, as if I was walking okay. in here. Try again. Okay, where do you want to go now? Do you want to go in SpongeBob Store Pants? Yeah! Great! <laughs> Thanks for playing. SpongeBob Square Store Squidward. <laughs> Do you want to make sure this is the Krusty Krab? And it's the home of the Krabby Patty? Mmm, Krabby Patty. See? You do want that shirt. It's a final freak 
Hey, I'm squinting over here. Take me to Duff Gardens, take me to Duff Gardens, take me to Duff Gardens. Wait, wait, wait. We go to Duff Gardens? Yes. Oh. So easy. Wow. So, so easy when you've already been on all the rides <laughs> that you want to be on. We, to be fair, we've not gone on every ride here, but Fast and the Furious, Minions, Rip Ride Rocket, you guys can all take a break. <laughs> Hey, I got a Lego one of these. November 5th, 1955. <laughs> so I have a Lego one of these. And I have one of these in Gran Turismo 7, so apparently now I'm obsessed with the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Ooh, Shea Alcatraz, they have a shark bar. Yeah. That's the, the jaws on their side. Do they have like a pass holder? They might have a pass holder exclusive beverage, and I might have to find out what that is. <laughs> But I'll be a pretty, I'll be pretty you know, transparent. When I read that they had something called the, uh, the, the the fish punch here, that vaguely resembles the Philadelphia Fish House Punch, mm, color me intrigued. <laughs> Off to our authentic San Francisco Lombard's lunch in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> See you inside. Yeah, I'm ready for lunch. <laughs> We're going upstairs. Ah, there's a fish. This is new for us. We haven't been upstairs before. It's supposed to be a householder secret. <laughs> From the upstairs at Lombard's, it's open again. Lunch with a view. Look, it's the night bus. <laughs> yeah, it's quiet and cool. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all washed out. You can't even see Simpsons on there. <laughs> the lights all washed out. Oh well. Trust me, Springfield's over there. have a walk around. This is the Universal Monster Store taking the place of the Mummy gift shop where the Mummy is down for Reaper. Um, and nice to see Universal really leaning into the universe, classic Universal Monsters. If only there was more Gilman stuff, I'd be even more impressed. But I do not need a big, thick, heavy sweatshirt. Even though it has a good print on it, I will not be bought. I will not buy it. Anyways, enjoy the tour. It's fun.
Oh yeah, and for what it's worth, the entrance to the Universal Monster Store over here at the Palace Arcade. <laughs> ah! You have to be careful. Tall guys will sneak up on you. I thought maybe they had time off because the mummy's closed, but I guess not. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> That's more steps than the hot. Speaking of hot, there's Rip Ride Rocket. Vertical lift. <laughs> and uh, not the most comfortable roller coaster I've ever been on. Fun music. Do get to choose some pretty fun music. So they got that going for them. Fun lights. Yeah, fun lights at night. It looks neat, it's very kinetic. It's a good thing to have in front of the park. It has energy, but just not my favorite coaster. I'll give it my lowest rating, not my favorite. <laughs> That's a wrap on our Universal Studios floor today. We gotta go. It's 2.30, it's 91 degrees, probably feels like 94, and Val is melting. I'm melting! So we're gonna go take a nap. And we had a lot of fun today. Did some stuff we don't normally do. Went to Ollivander's, got some ice cream for breakfast. Uh, we went to Finnegan's and had a, a, a little bit of a pub experience. So, and we rode all the rides we wanted to with no lines. So, I'm gonna say success. So, hopefully there's something interesting to see in this video, and we'll uh, see you next time for more theme park adventures. Bye!